Discover our store-wide pre-Labor Day savings. Save 50% on Dutch Boy's best super satin exterior paint. Its one-coat durable finish gives you the look of satin and lasts up to 15 years. Right now, just $10.49 a gallon. That's half price. With Handy Andy, you've got it made. Go ahead, Toyota dealer. Make my day. No problem with a selection of cars, trucks, and vans this big. But Toyota's Make My Day sales event is almost over. Hey, dude, think you can make my day? With savings like these extra value option packages, your day is made. It's the Make My Day sales event. With deals and savings on every car, truck, and van on the lot. But it's almost over. See your Toyota dealer right now and let the savings make your day. The 9 o'clock nightly news. I think I'd like that option, to be able to watch it at 9, you know, and then hit the sack early for work or whatever. I'd probably watch it rather than wait till 10. If you go out in the evening, you do miss the news, and that way you can see the news at 9 and go out afterwards. Much better time. Yeah, I definitely have to get up early, you know, being in construction, so, you know, 10 o'clock isn't exactly the best time. The 9 o'clock nightly news. Watch it tonight. The time is right. We move to the bottom of the seventh inning at Tiger Stadium. The Brewers leading five to nothing, and Scott Lucader will bat for Brookins to lead it off. Lucader, one of the September call-ups for the Tigers, he batted 258 in Toledo. Four home runs, 44 runs batted in. Billy Wegman delivers the first pitch, a strike. Molitor is in front of the bag at third and off the line. Schroeder about a step and a half behind the bag and off the line at first. Here's a chopper. Gantner has it at second base, and he throws out Lucader for the first out. Jim Paskey along with Mike Keegan and Bob Bach is with us tonight at Tiger Stadium. Well, did you get your sports cast ready to go? I think so. It's about as ready as it can be what with uh, <laughs> some ball games still in progress, but everything else seems to be intact. Well, our condolences to Chuck Filo of New London. The Brewers didn't score in the seventh, but Chuck still wins a Brewer warm-up jacket for taking part in the Miller Lite Super 18 rally inning contest. One away for Gary Pettis. Pettis has struck out and popped up to Swain. There's a strike to even the count at one and one. Well, Mike, we have a situation developing in the East as far as the Brewers are concerned that is quite interesting. Here's the one one pitch right back at Wegman. He'll have another easy out two up and two down in the seventh. In spring training we talked about the Brewers being the swing team in the East meaning that they will not face division opponents after this weekend and we said that that's okay if you're in front of the East and don't have to go head to head with your pursuers not so good if you're behind and can't stop those in front of you from winning the division but the way this is developing with the teams in front of Milwaukee Detroit Boston and New York playing giveaway it may not be so bad well you, you know you're right uh, if, if one team got red hot you'd like to be able to face them and, and stop them and, and try to win it in your own right you know head to head but what the heck go out to the West and let them beat their brains out if they want to play giveaway the Brewers will take it two balls and no strikes with two outs Whitaker one for three tonight he doubled in the fifth of course the Brewers have not had great success on the West Coast better this year than last year right at the very least it is an intriguing thought 3 0 taking all the way for a strike three balls and one strike the Brewers lead the Tigers five to nothing trying to beat Detroit for the second time in this series and the fourth straight time after winning the last two last weekend at County Stadium now the count is full to three and two.
up high a walk. Whitaker reaches for the second time. Excuse me, you're mentioning upcoming games, and I think one thing that has been at the very least underreported in the Milwaukee area and throughout Wisconsin, for that matter, is the attendance that the Brewers have had this year at County Stadium. You know, they're only about 40 or maybe 50,000 off of last year's total, and that despite what's been a kind of lukewarm year at home. I mean, no major winning streaks, no uh, Paul Molitor hitting streak. Uh, none of those real peaks like they had last season, but still a nice attendance count. Boy, you're right. They're going to be over a million eight, maybe closer to a million nine this year when the final totals are in. Here's Pat Sheridan, one for two with a walk. Just ten home games remaining for the Brewers. A couple of five-game stands. Chicago is in Monday and Wednesday. Seattle in for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Dick Hackett reminds us that they have expanded the hours for phone orders, Visa and MasterCard ticket orders, 9 to 5. Here's a liner at Swaim, and the Brewers are out of it. Sunday noon to 3 and Monday noon to 5, extended hours. So give the Brewers a call and pick up tickets for the final 10 games. We've completed seven at Tiger Stadium. The Brewers lead by 5 on the Brewers TV network. Create an impression with color and begin with True Test paints during fall paint savings at True Value Hardware Store. Try Weatherall acrylic house paint in high hiding flat, versatile low sheen satin, or lustrous long wearing gloss. Give your home the distinction it deserves with beautiful colors and lasting protection. True Test Weatherall house paint starts at just $10.98 a gallon exclusively at participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. You'd never know by looking at Jennifer that she suffers from scoliosis, a severe curvature of the spine. When she was 12 years old, two metal rods were placed along her spine to correct her condition. Now Jennifer has a great future ahead of her. She's making plans for college, plans that just may include a tennis scholarship. When it's your child's health, we're right there. Edward Hyland, there we are! Meet Ned Hanlon. A daring young upstart whose luck with the ladies and the law is legendary. He's a man whose passion for rowing and competition is about to change his life forever and make him a national hero. Moonstruck's Nicolas Cage stars as the lovable rogue who rode his way into the history books. As the boy in blue, Sunday night at 8 on The Silver Movie. Two innings to go in Detroit. The Brewers lead the Tigers five to nothing. Robin Yount, Rob Deere, and Bill Schroeder are scheduled to bat here in the eighth inning against Mark Huseman. Well, expanding on the upcoming five-game homestand at County Stadium on Monday, all kids 14 and under will receive a digital watch, Unicall Digital Watch Day at the stadium. On Saturday, Fan Appreciation Night. That's always a big night. The Brewers will give away the bullpen car and over 50 other prizes. We'll be relaying some of those prizes to you throughout the weekend. And then on Sunday, it's Crest Toothpaste Sunglasses Day. Kids 14 and under will receive a pair of sunglasses. Why would a toothpaste company give away sunglasses? I, I was wondering that. Your smile is so bright, mm -hmm. you have to wear shades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One ball and one strike. Missing two and one. Jim Wellwander is in the game at third base. Lou Sater did not stay in the game after pinch hitting for Tom Brookins in the seventh inning. Hit in the air right field. It is deep, but not deep enough. Caught by Lemon. Robin retired. Robin now. Two for four. He has flied out twice to Lemon. So there's one away for Rob Deere. Robbie had an RBI single in the first, struck out in the fourth, and grounded out to Brookins in the sixth inning. Well, for fan appreciation night, we have all kinds of things, guys. Restaurant packages. You could eat your way around town there. Well, I've tried that a few times. <laughs> Hotel packages. Mm -hmm. 
The Brewers will be giving away trips to spring training. Las Vegas, a couple of those. Wisconsin Dells. You got about 30 chances to win here, don't you? Well, I think it's over 50. Oh my gosh. As we said, the Brewer bullpen car will oh, yeah. be. I didn't see the last page. We have 46 items, but I know it's over 50, so it's a big night. Saturday, fan appreciation night. A year supply of Miller Lite. <laughs> With an 80 quart cooler. Something to take to work, huh? Deer down on strikes, swung and missed. Four strikeouts for Huseman, seven in the game by Detroit pitching tonight. Several color TVs will be drawn for on Saturday night. Paul Milder autograph bat. Paul Milder autograph team jersey. You name it, and they'll give it away. Here's Billy Schroeder. He had a big two-run home run, and I mean big in the sixth. That upper deck shot to left field. You were working hard back there in the corner, but you heard that one, didn't you? It was a monster blast. <laughs> Off the bat, you knew it was out of here. A ball and a strike. You know, I know now at age 37 that that is something that I will never do in my lifetime. Hit a Get home it. run into the <laughs> upper deck here? Exactly. Or anywhere, <laughs> for that matter. But I've come to grips with it. We all must face that reality. Here's another drive to left. And it is caught. And caught very nicely by Sheridan. Oh, a fine running catch. One, two, three. The Brewers go down in order in the eighth. Seven and a half complete. Milwaukee leads five to nothing on the Brewer TV network. Hardy's Garden Fresh Salads. We call them that because our lettuce comes from fresh lettuce. Our cabbage from fresh cabbage. And our carrots from, wouldn't you know it, fresh carrots. And now our freshest idea yet. Zesty new chicken fiesta salad with tender marinated breast of chicken. Along with our chef and garden salads, it's a delectable thing we do to win you over. The 9 o'clock nightly news. I think I'd like that option. Be able to watch it at 9, you know, and then hit the sack early for work or whatever. I'd probably watch it rather than wait till 10. If you go out in the evening, you do miss the news, and that way you can see the news at 9 and go out afterwards. Much better time. Yeah, I definitely have to get up early, you know, being in construction, so, you know, 10 o'clock isn't exactly the best time. The 9 o'clock nightly news. Watch it tonight. The time is right. Darrell Evans and Chet Lemon will bat here in the eighth inning. Bill Wegman working into the eighth. And Greg Brock has come on defensively now at first base, replacing Billy Schroeder for the Brewers. Brock is nursing a little knot in his rib cage. He injured it the other day. So a few innings off will do Greg Brock pretty well. It's on the right side, up around the M on his jersey. A little bit higher than the previous rib injury. Jim Adusi, by the way, also suffering from a rib cage problem. He let it loose today. He came out early and took some batting practice. Had to find out just where he was with the injury, and he did. And the news was not particularly good. It may be a while for Adusi. Took a couple of hard swings, and it hurt. 1-0 pitch to Lynn. Over for a strike. One ball and one strike. 
Fred Lynn talking about coming over from Baltimore to Detroit and one of the things he pointed out as he lines a pitch hired but foul was that now his kids want him to get Tom Selleck hats. <laughs> So that was one of his first orders of business. Wegman has thrown 104 pitches, 63 for strikes. This one a ball, and the count evens up at two and two. Done a lot of work tonight, but he sure is a nice score to show for it with Detroit shut out here through uh, seven and a half. Given up just three hits. Fly ball right field. Robbie Deer has room, circles, and makes the catch. Lynn retired. So there's one away in the eighth. Tell you, with the exception of a couple of lapses, he has had it pretty much in control. He's made good pitches. Tell you, Chuck Hartenstein and Tom Treblehorn keep a very close watch on their young pitchers. And they won't let them go too far before they're right to the mound and talking to them. Here's Evans. He walked in the first. Forced Freddie Lynn at second base when he chopped one to Swain behind the bag and then struck out in the sixth. Evans is looking at that picket fence defense on the right side. Swain, Gantner, and Brock all on the right side of the infield. Wegman's low hit game for the season. Three hits through seven innings. Here is a ball hit to right field for a base hit for Evans, so he is one for three. A one out single for the Tiger first baseman. Looked like he got a change up or an off speed pitch up in Evans' eyes about belt high. Watch right here. That ball just stayed up and out over the plate. So Evans is aboard with one out for Chet Lemon. Lemon hit a real deep fly ball to the fence and right with two on in the first. That was the final out. He flied out to left and walked in his last plate appearance. On the inside corner, Lemon doesn't think so. I tell you, Sheeta has been very generous with that inside part of the plate tonight. He's had a couple of conversations with guys he's rung up in there. But if he's going to call it, you better swing at it. Juan Davis continues to warm in the Brewer bullpen. Wegman gave up three hits to California in Anaheim back on June 24th. He worked seven innings in that ball game. Left with a three to one lead, and the Brewers won it five to four. He had another three hit outing, but he only went two innings against Baltimore in relief in August. He has given up four hits tonight. One ball and one strike, one out. Here's a fly ball, center field. Robin makes the catch, two away. Well, without giving away your sports cast, what might the folks in the Milwaukee area see tonight and here tonight? Well, we'll get the highlights on tonight's ball game. For one thing, I guess that's pretty uh, self-evident anyway, or obvious. We're going to talk a little bit about Marquette basketball. Their schedule was just released, and I think it will contain some surprises to Marquette fans and other followers of the college round ball. Okay, don't give it all away now. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the U.S. Open. I guess that's probably another pretty obvious thing to pick up on. There was right. a couple of upsets. Sports with Bob Bach on Super 18 in Milwaukee. Two outs, one on. Matt Noakes at the plate. Noakes has struck out, flied out, and popped up. Coming into the ball game, Noakes had hit 583 against Wegman. He's 0 for 3 tonight. The 1 0 pitch over for a strike. The count evens. A year ago, the Tigers went 21 and 12 after August. The Brewers are trying to make them 0 and 2 after August tonight. Milwaukee leads five to nothing. Bottom of the eighth with two out. There's a ball hit at Gantner, and he throws out Noakes. Gantner shifted over three on the right side for Noakes, and the catcher hit the ball right to him. A hit, one left. 
Eight complete, five nothing Milwaukee. Coming back with the ninth on the Brewer TV Network. The two for sales on now at Cons. Choose any two of the thousands of name brand suits and sport coats at Cons and pay just one low price. Everything's on sale. Everything at Cons is two for sale price now. It's the one sale Milwaukee men rely on for real men's clothing value. And it's on now at Cons. Play it smart, make it Cons, make it Cons, make it Cons. The two for sales on now. Next time you're eating in at work, why not go for quality? Pick up a six-pack or a four-pack from Cousins. You'll always save money compared to buying the sandwiches separately, and your fellow gourmets can still order to their individual liking. Not only are Cousins four and six-packs convenient, they ensure adequacy of supply. Cousins, an executive lunch so flawless, even the boss can't botch it up. to your local Chrysler Plymouth dealer with strict orders. Mark down every car in stock. Get a great deal on Chrysler New Yorker Landau with better owner care than any GM sedan. Your dealer could pass along up to an additional $1,600 with factory-to-dealer discount. They came, they saw, and they tagged. So for your blue and white clearance deal, hurry in before it's gone. See Hub South, Ernie Von Schladorn, Russ Darrell, Hub Suburban, Ewald. Guillermo Hernandez, the fourth Tiger pitcher, formerly known as Willie, will come on to pitch the ninth for Detroit. Hernandez makes his 48th appearance. He's had a pretty good year for them. 2.91 earned run average, five and three, eight saves. They are without their stopper, or I should say Mike Henneman has, is not let me put it to you this way. He has not pitched well of late. That's what I was trying to say. But they haven't been in a position too often to have saves lately. The Tigers are really having their problems. Offensively. Boy, oh boy. So Guillermo Hernandez, the fourth Tiger pitcher tonight, he will face Felder, O'Brien, and Gantner. Hernandez, the MVP, and Cy Young, winner at 84. His save totals have been dropping ever since. He had 32 at 84. 31, 24, 8 last year, and he has 8 so far at 88. Felder swings at the second pitch, lifts it in the air to right field, and Chet Lemon. Well, we'll try to get you caught up on the scores here. Chicago and Cleveland are in the bottom of the 10th, tied at 3. That game being played at Cleveland Stadium. Texas is in Toronto. 6-5 Toronto through 7. Bell and McGriff have homered. McGriff has 31. Bell with 19. Tom Treblehorn, Andy Etcheberry, Chuck Hartenstein waiting on a victory here. The Brewers lead the Tigers 5 to nothing. Charlie O'Brien at the plate. One for three tonight. He doubled and scored in the fifth. Can't help thinking that the uh, level of excitement on the Brewer Ball Club is going to hit a new level after tonight's win, assuming it will be, and it looks awful good as though it will end up that way. Well, I, you know, I think they they all talked about it, feeling the only way to get back in was to come in here and win at least three out of four, and if you sweep them, that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. They got two legs up on it. It looks like right now. One-one pitch, missing two and one now. Minnesota leads Kansas City in the dome six to three through seven innings. Kirby Puckett with his 22nd home run. Hit hard for a hit. A base hit for Charlie O'Brien. His second tonight. He's two for four. 
He adds a single to an earlier double. Well, Charlie O'Brien's a good old country boy, and don't throw him a high fastball. <laughs> Those country boys can hit high fastballs. Boy, he loves that heat up and out over the plate. That's what he got from Willie Hernando. Here's another look. Right there. Boom. Turned on it, didn't he? I was just thinking of the same thing, how fast he gets the bat down. Makes contact. Well, he is such a fine defensive player. Anything that he can give you offensively is, is a luxury, and I think he's hit a lot better than people expected that he would at this level. Well, here's a good old Wisconsin boy at the plate, Jimmy Gantner. He can hit that high heater, too. His average at 275. He is 0 for 2 with a sacrifice. It'll pop up to Lucader. I should say Whale Wonder playing at third base. Joe Arcelak hit a home run at the top of the first inning. Baltimore leads Seattle one to nothing. Boston should be underway at California. No score there and New York is in Oakland tonight. Over in the National League Cincinnati beat Chicago six to five. Eric Davis it is 25th and Sandberg is 16th for the Cubs. Here's Dale Swain two for three tonight. He is single in his last two at bats. Swain looks like he's got one of those George Brett pine tar jobs on that stick. Doesn't he? <laughs> that baby's up there. Careful we're close to the plate. They might hear you. <laughs> oh and one past whale wander in the left field and Swain has three straight singles three for four tonight. Runners at first and second now with two out. And we go back to the top of the order and Paul Molitor. Montreal blanking San Francisco 10 to nothing. Andres Galarraga with two home runs. He has 26. Rex Hudler hit his fourth. 8 nothing. New York over Los Angeles in the battle of division leaders over in the National League. Breaking pitch hit right back at Hernandez. This should get him out of the inning and does. Molitor retired. Two hits, two left. Eight and a half complete. The Brewers take a five-nothing lead into the bottom of the ninth on the Brewer TV network. Hardy's Garden Fresh Salads. We call them that because our lettuce comes from fresh lettuce. Our cabbage from fresh cabbage. And our carrots from, wouldn't you know it, fresh carrots. And now our freshest idea yet. Zesty new chicken fiesta salad with tender marinated breast of chicken. Along with our chef and garden salads, it's a delectable thing we do to win you over. Buick's Best presents Box and Duck. Get big bucks back on Skylark, Century, LeSabre Wagon, or Electra Park Avenue. Use your bucks as a down payment or get cash back. Duck in today for bucks and enter Buick's best Greater Milwaukee Duck Race. Adopt a duck for only five bucks. Grand prize this 1989 Buick Rayana. Enter at participating Hardee's, Century Foods, and Buick's best dealer. Good evening, I'm Liz Talbot. Here's what's coming up tonight after the game on the late edition of the 9 o'clock nightly news. We'll have more on what caused that Dallas plane crash a couple days ago. Investigators say the engine may have been the trouble. The crash killed 13 people. Meantime, the first hurricane of the season is bearing down on the east coast of Mexico. Hurricane Debbie is packing 75 mile an hour winds. And the highways are being packed with cars as Labor Day weekend gets into full swing. We'll have that story. Join us for all of your news, weather, and sports. And Bob Bach will be live in Detroit for that tonight on the 9 o'clock Nightly News. Bill Wegman is three outs away from his fourth complete game. Wegman and the Brewers leading the Tigers 5 to nothing. A run in the first, two of the fifth, two in the sixth. Five runs on ten hits. Wegman has held the Tigers to just four hits, three singles and a double. Whitaker had the double, Sheridan Lynn and Evans with the base hits. Salazar, Whalewander, and Pettis are scheduled to bat. But Billy Bean is in the on-deck circle, so that eighth spot on the order will 
Abbott's fourth player in that spot. Salazar is 0 for 3. San Diego and Philadelphia have completed eight innings. The Padres lead that one 5 to 4. Atlanta has beaten Pittsburgh 2 to 1. And St. Louis leads Houston tonight 1 to nothing in the bottom of the eighth in Houston. That brings you up to date around the major leagues. Two balls into strike now to Salazar. Now Billy Wegman has done an outstanding job. He gave up a couple of walks in the first inning. Got out of that mini jam. A couple of hits in the third. Got out of it. A two out double in the fifth. And got the aid of a fine play by Swayman. A ball hit by Sheridan to end the inning. And he has really not had much trouble tonight. There's a pitch down low, a walk. That'll be the fourth given up by Whiteman, and Salazar starts off the Tiger ninth with a base on balls. Call is going to the bullpen. Larry Haney, the bullpen coach, trotting down there. See who's going to come out. Nieves again. He has been up a lot his fourth or fifth time up tonight. Billy Bean at the plate. He comes to the Tigers after batting 258 in Toledo. Six home runs, 40 runs batted in. Well, we have a late update. Boston is leading California in the second inning, one to nothing. If the Brewers win here and Boston wins there, the Tigers and the Red Sox are tied at the top of the American League East and Milwaukee would be just six games out. Nothing at two to Billy Bean. Bean is a converted outfielder. He can still play the outfield position but he has been converted to a first baseman in Toledo. Not a bad idea with the aging Darrell Evans and Wegman fooled him, didn't he? Pulled the string and Bean is gone. Bean looked like a drill bit. <laughs> Strikeout number four. So Wegman has one out in the ninth with a runner on. That has been a good pitch for Billy Wegman tonight, taking a little off that breaking ball and not necessarily getting the strikeout, but getting guys out on the end of the bat. Dwayne Murphy is batting for Pettis. And he looks at a ball from Bill Wegman. Murphy has 10 hits in his last 32 at bats, his average up to 256. Murphy is one for one as a pinch hitter, facing a 1 1 pitch with one out and one on here in the ninth. Held up on it, a little high, two and one. Boy, you can just tell how much Wegman would like the shutout here tonight, huh? That's the determination right there mm -hmm. as he's looking in. I'm going to get this guy. This would be his first shutout and fourth complete game, and the count evens at two and two. And then I'm going to get the last guy. Big lift for Billy, too. He has been struggling of late. He is, what is this, his eighth or ninth try for number 11. He was 10 and 6 at one time. He's going to get number 11 here tonight. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Popped up, the count holds. He has 
got to stay out of that zone. Fans are cheering for Lou Whitaker, who took a foul ball and popped it back into the crowd. That's about that's the, the biggest, biggest cheer we've heard that's tonight. Right. <laughs> well, he's got to get that breaking ball down. He does in the dirt. Three and two to Murphy. Murphy has always been a strong hitter with runners on base. He has Salazar aboard with one out in the ninth. The Brewers lead five to nothing. He got him. Two strikeouts in a row for Wegman. Five in the game. One out away now from his first complete game shutout of 88. Well, he threw him three straight breaking balls and the old theory in baseball, if you can throw it 3-1 or 2-2, you can throw it 3-2, and he did. Made a good pitch. Those last two breaking balls down where he wanted them. And now it's up to Lou Whitaker. One for three. He doubled in the fifth and walked in the seventh. We will be back with you tomorrow night for game three in this series. 6.30 Central Time. Here's a fly ball. This should do it. Leonard makes the catch, and the Brewers win. They have beaten the Detroit Tigers for the second time in this series for the fourth time overall, and they take a lead in the season series. Six victories to five. We'll be back to wrap it up for you on the Brewer TV Network. The Medical Society of Milwaukee County presents Your Health Today. This segment provided by the Milwaukee County Medical Complex. For too many Milwaukeeans, these pictures portray a silent killer, cholesterol. Cholesterol deposits can clog an artery, causing a heart attack or stroke. Physicians in Milwaukee are concerned about cholesterol because it's a major risk factor for heart disease. Luckily, your cholesterol can be controlled. Simple changes in your diet, replacing certain foods with others like these, will lower your cholesterol. Aerobic exercise also helps. But the first step is to know your blood cholesterol level. A quick, simple test will determine if you're at risk. So talk to your doctor about your cholesterol level and have it checked soon. Milwaukee County Medical Complex, Flight for Life. Go ahead, Flight for Life. Four landing at the Milwaukee County Medical Complex. Crown of team is standing by at this time. With medical resources for a healthy lifetime, you get top flight care at your Milwaukee County Medical Complex. Your Health Today is brought to you through the cooperation of the Hospital Council of the Greater Milwaukee Area and the Medical Society of Milwaukee County. This segment was provided by the Milwaukee County Medical Complex. Bill Wegman turns in his first career complete game shutout as a major leaguer and the Brewers win 5 to nothing. Jim Paskey for Mike Egan saying so long from Tiger Stadium and inviting you to join us again tomorrow night. The Brewers and the Tigers at 6.30 Central. Tom Filer will face Steve Searcy. 5 to nothing. The Brewers win it. You're on the Milwaukee Brewers Television Network.